Good morning, Spartans. Today you're going to learn how to create your own currency design. This is going to be your final, and it's important that you watch this video because um, you will not be able to watch it during the final. So it's really, really important that you watch this video uh, in the next couple nights. You have me on Thursday and I want you to be fully prepared. You may take notes and bring those notes in to the final. Um, in fact, um, you're going to be able to access this website. Okay, This is my Weebly website. Um, and the video is going to be here as well. So, um, first thing I want you to do is notice this picture that's kind of what we're building. This is a previous student from, oh, I don't know how long ago. Um, your file size is going to be six inches in the width, three inches in the height. And you're going to use your first, first initial last name, and you're going to call it Currency Project. All right? You're going to make sure to show the denomination. That would be the amount you're going to create your own unit. Now dollar, franc, pound, that's something that already exists. You have to make up your own word. Call it anything you want. Be creative. You're also going to make up your own country name. And then your name will be somewhere in the design. I'm also going to grade you on your, your use of space, how well you balance all those elements that I listed above. Okay? Now, Right here, this is just a link that'll bring you to um, different countries and their currency. Now, I'm not asking you to copy anything, but I'm asking you to maybe take a look. Uh, this one's Belgium, um, picture and info. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, that's just one example. Okay, again, you're not copying anything. You're just looking at the way some countries design their currency. All right, let me go back to the website with the information of the final. Now, this, the purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to remove your face and put it onto that six by three inch uh, background. Okay, so I'm going to first start in Photoshop. We're going to go Command N, and again, you're going to Type in your first initial, last name, underscore, currency, final. We'll say currency final. Okay. I'll change that, that uh, over. Okay. So, six inch width, three inch height. Make sure it says inches first. And then 72 will be the resolution. We're going to click OK. And there it is. All right. First thing I'm going to do. And you guys did this the other day, so you won't have to do this, but I'm going to go into Photo Booth. And I'm going to take my picture. You can laugh if you need to. You can make a funny face. It's up to you. One, two, three. All right. So now I'm going to drag, oh, let me see, let me minimize my windows here. And oh, I got a ton of things open here. All right, so I'm just going to drag out my last face here. And you see I have others in here too. Maybe I'll drag this one out just in case I don't like the first one. Um, apparently it's already there, so I'll just stop that. Okay. I'm going to get out of photo booth. I'm going to quit. And I'll go ahead and close that window. Let me go back into Photoshop now. Okay, so I'm going to go in. It's My photo is on the desktop. So I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to go to Place. And I forgot to name it. I believe you called yours me from the other day. Um, yep, and that's the, the one previously. There's one. 
there's one, and that's today. I'll just use the one I used today. And there's my placed image. Okay. So you see this X. I'm going to go ahead and return. And it just makes it a smart object. So you see this little strange icon on the thumbnail. Um, don't worry about that. But what you should do first is control click your layer. So you can come into this blue area, control click it, and rasterize it. And that removes that little smart object emblem. Okay, I'm going to take my quick selection tool and I'm going to select me. Now, that seemed pretty easy, so I'm going to hold down option. There is a part here that uh, um, is selected that I don't want to have selected. So I'm just going to take that and zoom out a little bit. Hold down option, you see the minus sign, I'm just going to click on those ants. Okay. I missed my ear, so I have to go ahead and add that. So again, it shows the plus sign, but if you hold down option, it shows the minus sign. So the plus, look, plus adds ants, minus holding down option subtracts ants. Okay? As soon as you have your image selected nicely and cleanly, then all you're going to do is, let me zoom out of here, there we go. Uh, make sure you're in your photo layer, not your background layer. So right now I'm going to go ahead and do Command Shift J. What that does is it cuts out your picture. See how I'm turning on and off the eyeball? So I'm going to take the picture that, uh, the, the leftover, and I'm just going to drag that into the trash can. Okay, now I've got this image removed pretty nicely, except there is some areas that could be cleaned up. So I'm going to just take my eraser tool and really carefully, you don't want to cut off your head, and just smooth it over. I don't recommend the eraser because you could mess up. Just remember to do Command-Z. All right. At this point, I'm going to start designing something. I'm going to take my marquee tool, and I'm going to make sure I don't have a fixed size. I'm just going to do normal here. Remember the marquee. That makes your ants. That's the square. And you do not have to copy my design, but what I'm going to do is give it a border. So from that point, I'm going to go to my background, and I'm going to add another layer, and I'm going to choose a color. And I'm going to choose sort of a greenish. I'm going to try to make mine have that green effect, like our American currency. Um, I'm going to do Command-Delete, actually Option-Delete to fill with green. Now I'm going to go back into my layer, where my face is, and I'm going to do Command U. And I want to go ahead and colorize that. I want to make it green, but I don't want to make it that saturated. So I'm going to lower it, and let's see, change the hue. That looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to click OK. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull out a dollar bill from my wallet, and I'm going to look at some of the elements. And sure enough, now I don't have a more recent dollar, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and type in um, the, I certainly will change the color, United, hmm, um, regions of the Conti Landia. All right, not very creative, but I'm going uh, somewhat quickly here. 
you guys have two hours to come up with some really cool ideas. And let's see, I'm going to lower that. So up here, I made a, a, a center text. I changed my font. Let's see, maybe you can not see this. So I'm going to go ahead and do F. Oops, I was going to do full screen mode. So let me try it again. Okay. Now, I don't know if I can move my... Oh, I can. There we go. Okay, so sorry about that, but I wanted to bring in the options bar up here. Okay? So this type I'm going to put below. You see what I'm doing? I'm putting the layer underneath my head. Okay? And that way it won't uh, be too hidden. Um, I could come into my head and, and do Command T and hold down Shift and lower that a little bit. And that would make it uh, fit. All right? And then I'll bring, uh, bring my type layer over a little bit. Okay. Now, um, maybe I'll put this on this, the other line. And then I think I'm just going to make that a little bit smaller. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and add maybe an ellipse back here. And I keep getting fixed size, so I'm going to go to normal. And this will be where my denomination is. The denomination is the amount. I'm going to add a layer for that. I like to keep all my layers separate. And I'm going to choose a different color, just a slight variation of that green. And do Command or Option Delete to fill it. Okay? I'm also going to put a stroke. So I'm going to double click that layer and put a stroke. Now, default is red, but I certainly don't want that. And I'm going to click OK. And Command D to deselect. And I'm going to type right above it. I'm going to put six. It's going to be six, six something. I don't know what unit I'm going to use right now. Okay. And let's see. I have to change the color or you won't see it. Okay. There it is. Maybe I'll give it an a, uh, underline. So down here in the characters palette, you can get an underline. So I would take notes on all these things, people. Um, every little palette I go to, you should write down a little note about it. Okay? Now, I'm not going to show everything because my video is nearly up. I'm only allowed 15 minutes. But I do want you to make sure you get all of these. Let me go back to exploratory. All of these different um, parts. I didn't put the unit name yet. I have no idea what I want to put. Uh, my country is United Region Regions of Deconti Landia. It's a horrible name, but again, um, this tutorial is just to show you the beginning of how to approach um, your final. Okay? I repeat, I didn't finish. Just make sure you add all the necessary parts. Okay, you've got two hours to get all these things in here. Um, you know, I would uh, probably add another line just to, you know, add some some interest. Okay, get some decoration. You could do a little background picture. Um, again, I have to put the units, the um, maybe put a slogan. There's a number of things you can do to make this really interesting. 
Okay, the last thing you're going to do is you're just going to go to Layer and Flatten Image. And then you're going to save it and send it to me. Okay, hope this video helps. Don't forget to study. Don't forget to watch it a couple times and take notes. Thanks.